I'm currently working on a BMW X4. It's got the brake warnings on, so you've got the triangle exclamation mark in the middle on this side. And you've got the brake warning red light on over here. And at the center console, you also have the braking system fault being logged. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to rectify that fault now. So the first thing we want to do is find out more information about the warnings on the dash. To do that, we go into the menu option on the infotainment of the vehicle. We go into the vehicle information and we check the vehicle status. We toggle through the different options and we see what warning has come up. In this case, it was given information that the rear brakes needed, um, needed checking and that there were 500k overdue for inspection. Now on BMWs you can have warnings coming with mileage only warnings that come up and you can also have the wear indicator warnings that come up from the uh, sensors on the front or the rear of the vehicle uh, wearing through. In this case we needed to jack up the vehicle, get off the rear wheels and assess what needed replacing. After a quick visual, we could see that the brake pads and sensor needed replacing. And after talking to the customer, he opted just to have those replaced and to leave the rotors, the brake discs as they were. The next step on this job is to get the vehicle ready to have the new brake pads installed. What I set about doing next is I get my scan tool, I hook it up and I get it ready for the pre-installation section of the brake pads. And um, what that means is there's an electric motor on the back of the vehicle which controls the electric park brake. That needs to be deactivated but it also needs to be wound back before you can install the new brake pads. The uh, pre-installation section on my scan tool allows that motor to wind back and after I have that mode all complete I then can go in and remove the brake pads. Now there is a manual procedure that you can do in a lot of these vehicles. I believe you can do it with this BMW as well by removing the motor and manually winding it back. I haven't needed to do it as I have the scan tool to carry out this procedure, but I would look up the relevant information that you need should you not have a scan tool to do it yourself. After we have it wound back with the scan tool, I get my 13 millimeter spanner and I take off the two bolts that's holding on the caliper. I hold the inside from spinning using my Nipex um, water pump pliers. I have a nice small one which holds onto these easily, but you can essentially use Anthem to hold the inner part of that. Once those two bolts are removed, the caliper is free to come off. Um, I always recommend using some type of hanger to take the weight off the caliper so it's not hanging directly on the hose or any fittings that's going to that. The next thing I do is remove the brake pads and that wear indicator sensor. The wear indicator sensor is rooted in a lot of different uh, parts. It's clipped in and it's pushed in, but you just need to remove all of those items. There's a black little junction box that will pop open and then there's a little electrical connector that just needs to be disconnected to free out that sensor and remove it. I'm only going to be showing you the job on one side of the vehicle because the sensor is on the right hand rear of this vehicle. There is no sensor on the left hand rear. So I'm just going to show you on this side how you do it and then you will copy excluding the sensor on the left hand side. So in the kit that we got, we got the brake pads, we got the uh, wear indicator sensor. There is no brake pad shims. So what I do is I clean those up make sure they're free of any dust and debris and I get it ready for the brake pads to be installed. After you have all the areas cleaned up it's highly recommended that you check the slide pins make sure that they're nice and free which they were on this vehicle and then lubricate any areas that you need to. I'm using this Bindex product here which I find very good for doing that. I lube the top and bottom of the pads and I also lube the back side of the pads as well where the piston um, and the caliper holds on in position to stop for any friction noises that may occur. The fact that the customer didn't want any rotor work done, I do chamfer down the edges of the pads as well to stop um, that direct 
a new pad to lip on the inner and outer edges. It's a little tip that can stop uh, early squeaking on your brake pad installation as well. The installation is pretty straightforward after that. Every, after you have everything cleaned up, everything is free, you install the caliper, you make sure the routing of the um, sensor is correct, it's not catching anything, and you tighten everything down. The next part of the job is to go back into the vehicle if you have a scan tool and reactivate that uh, motor. So after I have activated the electric park brake in the outward position again, you knock on and off the park brake a number of times. There will be a step-by-step -step procedure with most good scan tools that you get. If you don't have a scan tool, um, a general rule is to flick on and off the parking brake about three to five times and that will recalibrate it back into the position that it needs to be. Um, I would always recommend uh, checking after you release the park brake that everything spins freely and also when you activate the park brake that everything is locked down nice and tight. After I have all of that done, there's only one more thing to do, and that is reset the warning that's on the dash. We now know the brakes are all good. It's got new brake pads. It's got a new wear indicator, but that warning is going to be still on the dash, so that needs to be reset. So because my battery died, I'll just show you the reset procedure again. You push the start button once, the ignition comes on, and then you go over to the odometer button, you press and hold that button. So you push and hold it down. You get the different options come up. You scroll through the one that will be in red, which on that one was the rear brake pads, and then you push and hold the button again. Afterwards, there'll be a reset bar, so I'll show you on the front brakes. So front brakes, press and hold, perform reset, then you press and hold again. After that is complete, all the warnings will now be off on your dash. Bring the vehicle for a road test and the job is now complete. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. I hope you found it useful and informative. If you did, please like, share, comment and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.